Hi Anna, I'm Vivian, I'm 62, I live in the southwest, and I'm an office support worker uh, for a community healthcare company. Um, in January, when we started to hear about what stuff uh, people were getting healed in, in China, um, I remember saying to my husband that for years I've been telling him that, um, well, I've been saying to him that it would never be a, a nuclear war that would kill off humankind, that it would be a virus. Um, because we travel the world so much, um, there was going to be a, probably a cataclysmic event where something would be released or something would naturally occur and a virus would come along and kill us off. Um, and then in January, when all this started kicking off, I remember looking at him and saying, this is it. I think this might be it. Um, we started seeing all the lockdowns in China. We started seeing the supposed death from this new coronavirus. And um, yeah, I was scared. I will admit to begin with, I was pretty scared, you know, we, we all, because it was what I'd imagined for quite some time. And they didn't do anything to stop it. They didn't shut the airports down. They didn't shut any immigration, emigration, nothing. It just was allowed to continue. And I thought, we better start being careful. So, like a lot of people, um, when I went shopping, I wore um, face covering. Not masks, didn't have masks. So I used face coverings and only went out when I had to. Um, my husband, um, because he'd had a heart attack, he's a food delivery um, driver. Um, he was actually, in March, when it, we had lockdown, he was actually um, shielded from his work. Um, it, was, it was pretty good. The company was very good and they allowed him to shield for 15 weeks in the end. Um, and as much as my husband believed it, and still does to a degree, I started to think, there's something wrong. There's just something wrong. Um, when they started coming out with the amount of people that died, it was always, uh, they just died with COVID, coronavirus. They never qualified whether it was with or from huge difference in my opinion and it got to the point where I thought I can't be doing this it, it is something there is something major going on and I started to dig and I started to listen to things and I started to talk to my my niece who's um agrees with me and my sister who also agrees with me um I've tried to talk to others but the fear is real. The fear that has been instilled by the government, been instilled by the damn BBC and the mainstream media, they have a lot to answer for because this country, in some areas, some people are terrified. We have old people terrified to leave their homes without wearing a mask and they can't breathe properly anyway. I just think that now something has to happen as a people as a an island race we need to start standing up and saying no no more this is wrong it's lies that for whatever reason and we all hope it's a good one this has happened for a reason, but now is enough. Enough is enough. We want our lives back. We want our families back. So, 
good luck and thank you Anna for giving us all a platform. <laughs>